your time. Thank you. I'm running for the seat for a very special reason. When I came to North Miami as mayor of the city, I received instruction from my city manager that the city had about $20 million in federal grants. Monies that came from the feds because we had blighted and slumped it. And the manager told me, and I told the manager, what do you do with the $20 million? And I looked at the record, and what I've noticed, the city used the money to kind of put a bandage over the problem. Because if we fix it completely, we, are, we cannot qualify the year after for the federal funds. In order for you to receive that money from the federal government, you have to have blight and slum. And if you don't have blight and slum, you're not qualified as a local government. We have a major issue with economics. We have a major issue with education. But yet, when you look across the United States, when you look at state government, they've decided that they are going to look at immigration and all these other things that have nothing to do with our bottom line, it has nothing to do with providing jobs, it has nothing to do with providing quality education. I'm going to wrap this up. My name is Matthew Tisdall, and you have two options if you live in District 104. You can A, go punch number 56, and vote for me. Baptism. Or you can find someone else and vote for them. But either way, I'll be here. So we, we either fix this starting August 25th, or we fix it some other year. Obviously, yeah, I say it's August 24th, but I'll get to work August 25th. And if you vote for me, that's when I start working. But if you don't vote for me, then I have to wait another two years, another time, to have a real candidate and has real experience and understands this community who has a passion for this community that will go to work for you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. I would just admonish you to please, please, please vote. And uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor White. Thank you very much. Again, yeah, uh, let me thank our uh, moderator, Joy. Let me thank all of the candidates for coming. Uh, thank all of the uh, residents of uh, South Florida for being here. Uh, through the double doors to the left in the H.E. Green Community Center, there's a reception uh, with refreshing and uh, interacting maybe with the candidates. I want to thank these candidates for coming and sharing and staying. And I uh, want these candidates to know that you are uh, more than welcome to come to the Mount Hermon Church uh, Sunday, 7 a.m. Uh, or the 10 a.m. service. Uh, I don't allow candidates to speak, but I give you a major shout out. Somebody ought to say amen. Uh, and you can bring your campaign literature, uh, and you'll be more than welcome to stay at the church and shake as many hands and pass out campaign literature. Again, thank you for coming uh, and sharing. Let's stand and have a quick word of prayer. I want to again thank the political and social action ministry and the great people of the Mount Hermon Church uh, for leading us in this effort. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, have a good night.